Franco Mendicino removed from the role of public safety? Thank you for the question. Uh, yes, I am glad to hear, to see Marco Mendicino out. Uh, but, you know, he was just telling a lot of lies on behalf of Justin Trudeau. <laughs> he lied about the use of the Emergencies Act, claiming police told him to do it. They did not. He lied when he said that Trudeau wasn't going to ban hunting rifles. Well, we then saw that there's a list of about 300 pages of hunting rifles Trudeau planned to ban. And in fact, Trudeau went on to admit that he was banning hunting rifles. He lied about his knowledge of the government's transfer of Paul Bernardo out of a maximum security penitentiary. Uh, and he lied about the fact that it was the Liberals' own law that had caused that unacceptable and traumatizing transfer of this monster. But I think he was telling those lies on behalf of Justin Trudeau. So it's all well and good to fire one incompetent minister, but it's Justin Trudeau who should have been fired. Can't say I disagree there. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I think I also saw Trudeau get asked that question about why he let him go. And he just, of course, did what he always does and didn't actually answer the question. But it is good to see him go. But the truth is, how do you get away with so many lies and not get, uh, you know, dismissed beforehand? That does fall directly on Prime Minister Trudeau. Well, and is Mendicino really the guy? Uh, like, you look at Marco Mendicino, and I'm not convinced he's smart enough to come up with those lies on his own. <laughs> These are uh, talking points fed to him by the PMO. He's just the guy saying them. Yeah. Um, really, he's just the uh, mouthpiece for Justin Trudeau, um, but he's the guy paying the political consequences for being the mouthpiece for Justin Trudeau. So Justin Trudeau gets to be the hero, I suppose. Uh, for shuffling out this highly incompetent liar out of his portfolio. Um, but those were, as Polyev points out, Justin Trudeau's lies coming out of his mouth. And I, I see that you dropped a video in the chat here um, about uh, his response or lack thereof to yeah, why yeah, he did yeah, it. Yeah let's, yeah, let's show that if you wouldn't mind, Efron. So when... Uh, Justin Trudeau was asked a similar question, basically like, why did you fire Marco Mendicino? Old oh, make him up Marco. Why did you fire him? Um, he doesn't answer it at all. He just sort of does his Trudeau thing where he's like, you ask him about, you know, what color the sky is. And he tells you what he had for breakfast. Um, he does that here too. 15 minutes for the questions of the media. And we'll start with Ryan Tomalty from the National Post. Yeah. Good morning, Prime Minister. Uh, can you explain your decision to fire Marco Mendicino, Morna Forte, and David Lametti and remove them entirely from your cabinet? I want to thank uh, everyone who has served this country and this cabinet so well over the past uh, number of years. Um, this is a, a moment where putting forward the strongest possible team of uh, with uh, fresh energy and a range of skills that are going to be able to continue the really important work of showing Canadians the positive and ambitious vision for the future that we're uh, so committed to and that I know Canadians need and deserve. I'm really excited about uh, the work we're doing and uh, quite frankly, we have uh, a huge team uh, in caucus and uh, across the country working really hard uh, to deliver for Canadians in all sorts of great ways. No surprise there. It reminds me of when he was being questioned about the whole Wii scandal and his, his family making money. And then he's like, I just want to say I'm really proud of my mother. <laughs> it's like he just, he yeah. thinks if you respond with a positive sounding uh, phrase, then people will just be easily fooled that you didn't actually answer anything. I just feel like I'm stupider for having listened to that whole clip. And I'm yeah. very sorry to the audience who sat through it with me um, because that it's like mind melding nonsense. Like it just melts the inside of your brain. Uh, and you learn nothing and you're a little bit dumber at the end of it all. Um, I, I don't know, but good, good for, uh, the guy from the national post for actually asking a question. Good for him. Yeah. You know, and of course you can Rare. see, uh, Krista Freeland in the background who should have been shuffled out the door, but you know, doing the awkward bob in the back to every word that he says as usual so she's right there I don't still know. you know 
I, and I don't want to, I don't want to pick on her, but I think she burns a lot of calories in a day with all of her fidgeting and bobbing and nonsense. And so you would think that those dresses would start to fit her better, but they never do. They never oh, do. Wow. It's very sad. Um, okay, let's move ahead. I'm just being mean. I, I'm I, I'm going to be honest with the viewers. <laughs> that was I'm not the, feeling that well was, today. <laughs> so I the spirit of that, I think the spirit of Menzies got in you as the host. <laughs> That's something that just, he loves talking about fashion. I'm just, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm not feeling the best today. I, I think the viewers should know. And um, mm -hmm. I think it's manifesting in some of my comments. And I'm very sorry. I'm going to try to bring it back and, <laughs> and behave myself.